It's Medusa time! Medusa's another one of those gods or monsters or watch em, watch em, monsters who I never really get a chance to use because everyone likes to use small units. I guess because everybody in the PS4 has small units, but that's another story. So after the debacle of Hades showcase, it is now time for Medusa. Really, her only passive is that she doesn't get slowed down moving backwards or sideways. Other than that, She's just extraordinarily strong. <laughs> it's just that's just the way it goes. She's just extraordinarily strong. Do so. And I absolutely love her to every every degree you can possibly come up with. She is just so great, and she's got one nice set of jugs for a spider chick. I mean, a a serpent chick. But she really, her abilities are she can shoot. Poisonous serpents at you, three of them, which obviously do higher damage and poison you. She also can spit acid, which if it hits minions, they it spreads out to a cone. And she can she can dash her way towards you, in which case she can route you for a sec or root you for a sec, and then just start shooting at will. So, and also she's got the stone sight. You have to be looking at her though. So, of course, what that means is when I'm playing against Medusa, I can be sideways or turning around and she'll still nail me. But if I'm using Medusa, they have to be looking right at me. So what I usually do with, uh, with her ultimate is I usually wait until somebody's trying to charge me and then ping! She ya! Game over, man. Oh, we got two Guardians on that side. Kabrakan's just awesome. Capri's good to use, too. But Kabrakan's just awesome. Kabrakan is more an offensive guardian, but he still is a guardian. He still soaks damage and still can take hits. He's not like an Ares where he can't take any hits. Kepri is a moving steel wall. Kepri doesn't really lend himself to kills much. You have to be creative with Kepri. Not like any of this matters right now because today and at this moment, it's Medusa. I unlocked a Wheelix as I tried to unlock all the Mayan gods. So I have all the Roman, Greek, and Egyptian gods. Now, yeah, Roman, Greek, and Egyptian gods. Now I have to get all the Mayan gods. I only need two more. And I have all the Mayan gods. And after that, it will be the Hindu gods, which I need a lot. Since I only have two. And then it will be the Chinese, the Japanese, and then the Celtic. Although the Celtic is, at this point, it's just the horrific Morgan and the... Ridiculously strong Kernunos. I just sense that I'm going to have one enjoyable time using Kernunos. And look at that. We have a player that will not connect. So here we go. So I'm trying to showcase gods and get wins and get the first win. Well, actually, no. Today's not first win of the day. Today I got the whole thing about Hindu gods. I have to use Hindu gods in three games, which isn't a big deal. But I still like to get those first wins for the favor that they grant. And look at this. We're going to have a problem with my guy connecting. And I'm just kind of figuring that he's never going to connect. That's what happens to me. So we're going to be down a player. Oh, and um, we're seriously outmatched in terms of fantasy points anyway. So there you go. High res matchmaking at its best once more. Give you a guy that can't connect and they put you up against the team that's Loaded with fantasy points while you have a team that looks like they just started playing yesterday. Although fantasy points doesn't really tell the whole tale. I am really sick of that vampiric Scylla skin. I really am. I'll make yeah! Alright. Hercules is not showing up. And already Kali wants a piece of me. I woke up like this. <laughs> nope, not seeing him connect. No, not happening. Good luck. Have fun. Good game. Good game. Minions have small. Nope, not connecting. What I'm gonna take it? I'm not a mage. Eh, whatever. Don't want it to go untaken. 
I just do this for the experience points. I don't really do it to get any buffs. I give myself every disadvantage I can possibly come up with just so I can still beat you. Now the whole thing with her poison serpents, you can just hang on to them for a while. Like, you don't have to shoot them. I mean, the shots that you take will be them, but you can just kind of hang on them. By the way, the acid spit's more effective if you shoot it at a crowd of minions. See, that's like I said, that's when I use our ultimate. And this is pretty much going to be the whole game is us by this portal trying our best to defend ourselves because Hercules did not connect and he's not connecting. High res sabotage right there in front of your faces, people. Happens all the time. I guess because I don't play in teams or whatever. I prefer Nerd Rage. No one's that impressed. Damn it. There's Thanatos. That's the guy I was talking about in the last one. Your team did something. I don't know what I expected. I mean, again, I'd love to help out, but I gotta kill all these minions. And since you guys are all going for kills, I'm the only one that's doing this. And so our hero story begins. Get these minions out of here, man. Why does it seem like ours are reproducing like bunny rabbits and, and no, ours are not reproducing at all and theirs reproduce like bunny rabbits. I just love how Hercules is never going to show up to this game. I just love it. Wow, that was a serious amount of damage. <laughs> Some reason Kali keeps trying to go for me.
That's another thing too. Whenever I'm using Poseidon, he, I never silence or st stop people from moving. Your team did something. I like the way you press them buttons, boy. Man. See what I told you about fantasy points? <laughs> we have 10 kills to their one and they have the player advantage. What do you think I'm doing, sweetheart? There we go. Now I could just sit there and we can spit off it and then, you know, I could have just left it there for a while. Her stone likeness. Nah. Well, we didn't get the siege. If we got the siege minion in, we would have had some more breathing room. I've got almost 3,000 pieces of gold. I want to take care of that. Or at least have the computer take care of it. <clears throat> Your team did something. Silly ally. Death is for enemies. Don't when you're down a player, you don't chase. See now you're now you're screwed. Wow, I mean. <laughs> Anything else you guys want to do to him? An enemy has been slain. Yeah, how'd you get out of that mess? I gotta give Ares credit, he got out of a terrible situation. Uh, I really don't think buffs are at high priority right now. I really think we should be focusing on having a player disadvantage. Which, by the way, has not been satisfied. It's just basically remained as it is. It's not like he's showing up anytime soon. Then again, if we had him, how much would this kill differentiation be? Then again, he could have just really been horrible and he would have done nothing for us. Gotcha, Thanatos. I wish I could have done more. I was just trying to protect Ares. Uh, do you want a Dykebrocken or no? Oh yeah, that's true, you have that. And Wahahaha! 
Oh, I love Medusa so much. She's so awesome. Oh, I hit the minions. Just wait till we get to Cabracken. Cabracken is just friggin' amazing. Especially when you're the best, like I am. More like your ally. I know I'm not doing rank like Stardust Haze. I understand that. That it's easy to just pick up games, but sometimes that could be worse for you because you do have to play with a lot of scrubs. Although a lot of pick up games with with ranked matches doesn't always mean that you're going to be playing with skilled players either. I mean, if like Stardust Haze were, and I were mentioning collaborating, doing a PS4 at ranked whenever he has the opportunity, but like I don't want to get into ranked matches unless I know who I'm getting into ranked matches with. They just take too long to set up. Have you not learned your lesson, big boy? Nah, whatever. I'll let you get away with it. And so, our hero story begins. I mean, we have 22 to 5 kills and we have a player disadvantage. That is pretty sad. Pretty lame, Millhouse. And we're up by 80 points. Almost. I still call sabotage. I still call shenanigans. Retreat middle lane. I tell you, there is nothing more annoying than somebody on your team saying retreat whatever lane when you are like in trouble. It's like, yeah, I'm trying that. Thank you. I don't need you to tell me to get out of there. I know to get out of there. See, that's different. If they don't know what's going on, yeah. Then call it out. But don't call it out when they're stuck. It's like, I'm kind of stuck. Killing. You can tell me to do it all you want. It's not going to help matters. An ally has been slain. Dude, do you think you know how to use Kali? You don't know jack nuts about Kali. So, like, now I want to use Kali just to show this chump. Well, it is Hindu gods today, so... In case, if you look and see that it seems like I'm very passive or whatever, it's because I'm using a hunter. Ah! You have been slain. You know, like I hit people with Poseidon's whirlwind or a whirlpool or whatever. I hit them with that all the time and I don't know that they get stunned and stopped and mute silenced and it's like ridiculous. By the way, we're down a player. I know we're up by 50 points, but do I have to have a respawn time of like 50 years? Can I get back in the game, please? Thank you, we're still down a player. Oh, no, no, no. Don't, don't come near me, Thanatos. I will eat you alive, man. Why can't you? Alright, well, you killed him. We're still up by 70 points, so we're doing okay. Your team did 
did something. Yeah, that makes sense. Wow. Yay! Mm, did you see me? I'm yes. great. You talk about diving. I don't know what I expected. He literally dove in there. Don't you love how Hercules never showed up? Isn't that great? I mean, he still could, but, you know, it's kind of useless now. Get out of here with you. <laughs> An enemy has been slain. You be more like your ally. Your team did something. <laughs> that is kind of funny, I have to admit. That's what you get, boy. I'll make them feel pain. These Kraken's... Kraken's harsh, man. You gotta watch out with him. Two for what? What a vibe. Should have waited a sec. As you can see, Thanatos is, like I said, high risk, high reward. This must be the work Why can't you be more like your ally? Yay! Murder! You know if you're attacking me head first, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that to you. <laughs> you kinda know. The Bakasura's got some serious. Look at this, we won by over 100 points! And so our hero story begins. Wow! Good game! Man, we won by over 100 points with a player disadvantage the whole game. Record that in the history banks, baby. That is ridiculous. That should never happen. What you just saw should never happen. <laughs> You should never win a game by over 100 points down a player since the beginning. That is insane. It's still sabotage. I'm still calling sabotage. High res does that all the time. When you're winning a game or whatever, you're winning a couple of matches in a row, they always do stuff like that where they put a guy in your party who doesn't show up or just wants to be a jackass or whatever. But then again, Medusa is just so awesome. So that does help. But uh, I am going... He got gold. Get out of here. <laughs> so anyway, so next time we are going to showcase, I think, Nike. And let me just double check. Nike and... No, Nemesis and Nike. Oh, yeah. Nemesis. That's my baby. Nemesis and Nike in the next showcase. And then we're almost... We just got two more days of this. And then we're going to go through each one in all... Five different solo match types. Well, not solo match, but, you know, matches that... Whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Like Joust, Conquest, Clash, all that stuff. So I'll see you all then.